हेलो 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 वेरी 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 वॉम वेलकम टू विदांत टू जे इंग्लिश चैनल दिस इज मी योर मास्टर टीचर नव अमिता भट्टाचार्य एंड टुडे आई एम हियर टू लेट यू नो कैन यू क्रैक जे इफ यू स्टार्ट स्टडिंग फ्रॉम नाउ इज इट टू लेट वेल विथ प्रॉपर प्लानिंग एंड प्रॉपर स्ट्रैटेजीज यू कैन डेफिनेटली क्रैक इट ओके don't think don't give up and uh, don't just listen to other people's stories and think that it is going to be very tough and you should just not uh, you know you should just not appear in the exam don't do that to yourself yes with proper strategy and pro proper planning you can definitely definitely crack this exam so let's uh, let let's just take a look at what exactly are we supposed to do okay now before i start with this session please don't forget to subscribe to vedantu je english channel because this channel not only caters to your je exam but also other competitive exams like nset cuet vit triple e bit set and all of these exams will be taken care of and absolutely full fledgedly in english no other language okay all right so now let's begin first of all if you are you know day dreaming and sleeping and thinking that i should just keep calm my preparation will be done please don't do that please don't do that do you know how much time you have left with do you know how much time you are left with you are only left with 6 months how 6 months july august september october november december that's it january has an attempt of je if you remember this year also we had a jan attempt right this year in the year this 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 2020 2023 we had a jan attempt we had an april attempt and you must aim at january attempt because in january attempt you are you can be a little calm during april you have board exams coming up you have other exams coming up you have je advanced also coming up it's a lot of hodgepodge so please don't aim for april attempt rather aim for january attempt january attempt is when you can actually uh, take care of the percentile all right and what should you be your what should be your percentile your percentile should be definitely 95 or more than that that's the percentile that you should aim for you should aim for okay yes now moving on from here p is b familiar with the pattern of j and that is the first thing that you are supposed to do be even before you buy your books even before you start with any concept even before you start with any of the subject be familiar with the pattern of j e e If you want to clear J twenty twenty four in just six months, in just six months, be well versed. Start with fast track courses, yes. And in fact, if you are a dropper, then Vedantu has a dropper batch that is coming up on nineteenth of Jan, nineteenth of this month, nineteenth of June, where um, English batch of dropper is starting. All the details are there. In fact, no details. You know what? If you want the details, then there is a Google form right below this uh, video in the description box. There is a video. There is a li link. Sorry, what am I saying? There is a Google form link right below this video. Just fill it up. My team. my colleagues they will definitely call you they will definitely let you know about all the facilities that you can get who are the teachers who are going to teach you uh, the teachers actually do have 20 plus years of experience yes your chemistry teacher who is taking care of the english batch has an experience of 20 20 years and uh, they have produced ranks in the past as well so if you wanted to check the success rate then this is the success rate please just go and fill up the form that's all nothing else you don't have to pay anything it's absolutely free of course the google form is free of course not the course the course is not free of course the course comes up comes with a price but all of it my team will let you know you just fill up the google form and show us the interest we will definitely let you know anyway so fast track manner you want you want to uh, you want to have a well versed you you have to be well versed in the pattern of the exam that's the first thing that you have to do yes you should also know what is usually the total number of questions that are there yes and the total number of questions will be 90 in number with 30 each from physics chemistry and mathematics i'm telling you this but you should also know all right you should also know there is negative marking so if you thinking you know all of these in 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 youtube you will find all of these tukka strategy and bahubali strategy hey doesn't work it's a myth doesn't work doesn't work at all please be very very careful i'm telling you right up front that tukka strategy is not going to work unless and until there is no scope and you think that you are doomed you cannot do anything but you have been pressurized by your parents that you have to appear for the exam 
then maybe you can follow Tukka strategy. But otherwise, if you are a good student and you are really seriously with all your might and heart, if you want that goal, if you want to go to IIT, please forget about the Tukka strategy, the Bab strategy, the Bahubali strategy, the this strategy, the that strategy, nothing is going to work. The only strategy that can work is, my dear student, study. Work hard, work smart, that will get you to IIT. Yes? Now, secondly, the topics and the subjects are the other aspects, obviously. Obviously. Now you have to know which are your stronger topics, which are your strengths, which are your weaknesses. This is the time when you, you have to start knowing your pain points. You have to start knowing what are your strengths. So if you want to crack J8 Main 2024 exam in just six months, now you have to know what topics and what subjects you have to cover. Are there some topics that you have already actually covered? Are there some topics that you know it very well? Are there some subjects? For example, there are certain students who find mathematics to be their strong subject. But they are not very strong in chemistry. That's okay. That's okay. But promise me that you are not just going to do mathematics because you find it interesting and you are completely going to give up chemistry. You know, it, it doesn't happen like this. It's not like just because you work hard on mathematics, chemistry will be uh, done with. You can compensate for chemistry. You have to give equal time to each subject, my dear bacha. Now, JMN syllabus, it, it is actually very similar to the class, syllabus of class 11th and 12th. You are not learning something exceptionally new. The topics might be named a little named a little different. For example, in your book, you have some basic concepts of chemistry, right? NCRT. Whereas the same topic is a little more, it, it is studied in depth and it is called a stoichiometry in J. Cool. Yes. So this is a plus point that if you have studied your 11th, then you are already set. You are already done for the one year. It actually requires two years of preparation. But if you are done with 11, then your half of your preparation is done. Now you have to come to 12th. Okay. So because you study this in school and at home, so... You are kind of sorted, right? You're kind of sorted. Yes. Now, let's come to this part. These are the physics topic-wise weightage, chemistry topic-wise weightage, as well as mathematics topic-wise weightage. In the past, uh, many students have asked me that, ma'am, why are you only doing for chemistry? Please do it for physics and mathematics as well. So, here. Lo and behold, here it is. Okay. So, in physics, you can see that physics and measurement, the topic, the chapter of physics and measurement has 4% weightage. That means two questions. Properties of solids and liquids, 5%. Thermodynamics, 9%. Electrostatics, 9%. Pratik sir is going to start with electro, uh, electrostatics very soon. Yes, he is, he, is, he is coming to the office and he is preparing the content. So, he will be starting with electrostatic. Current electricity, 8%. Magnetic effects of current and magnetism, 5%. Electromagnetic waves, 5%. Optics, 10%. Dual nature of matter and radiation, 6%. Electronic devices, 14%. And communication systems, 5%. Then we come to chemistry, some basic concepts in chemistry, 5%. In fact, I can also tell you from where you will be getting the uh, problems. The problems will definitely be from molarity, molality and stoichiometry, which we will be doing very soon. Don't worry about it. Solutions is a class 12 chapter. I will be starting with that also very soon. Once this is over, then we will start with solutions, 5%. Chemical thermodynamics, 4%. Equilibrium 6%, redox reaction in electrochemistry 4%, P block elements 5%, chemical bonding and molecular structure 5%, DNF block elements 4%, coordination compounds 4%, organic compounds containing halogens 2%, organic compounds containing oxygen 6%, chemistry in everyday life 4%. Apart from that, you also have some other chapters which we haven't written here, but mostly it varies from 4% to 9% only. Okay. Then we come to mathematics sets, relations and functions 5%, complex numbers and quadratic equations 7%, matrices and determinants 7%, permutation and combinations 4%, Sequence and series, four, uh, 5%, integral calculus, 9%, limit, continuity and differentiability, 10%, coordinate geometry, 5, 15%, three-dimensional geometry, 6%, vector algebra, 5%, statistics and probability, 8%, and trigonometry, 4%. Okay, these are the weightage. I will be providing you with the PDF. The PDF of this will be provided in the Telegram channel. Please do join the Telegram channel, my dear student. Moving on from here. Please make sure that books, books, books. 
just don't study from YouTube videos. Books are your best friend. Even we have to refer to books before we come here, right? Before we start, before we start teaching you, we refer to the books. So why aren't you? You also have to refer to books, my dear students. Okay. So a lot of students, what they do is many colleges, many universities, they actually do assign extra point to class 10th marks while granting admission to students. So it will be great if you have a good score in class 10th board exams. Yes. And uh, like I said, books, books are very important. Okay. Books are your best friend. Make sure of that. Uh, but anyway, 10th exam is over already. So if, if at all you did not get good marks, let it go. Don't worry about it right now. You try for the 75% criteria in your 11th and 12th and make sure that you are going through books. Okay. I will also give you a list of books. Let me tell you about the books. For Physics, Concepts of Physics, Volume 1 and 2 by H.C. Verma. NCRT textbooks, please. Even this year we saw how many questions were exactly and directly from NCRT. Not even kidding, even JE Advanced had NCRT questions. Directly from NCRT, you had JE Advanced question as well. Apart from that, Modern Approach to Chemical Calculations by R.C. Mukherjee, Objective Mathematics by R.D. Sharma. For mathematics, obviously, quality problems on all topics will be covered in uh, concepts of physics. You will see that. Many questions are still being asked from directly NCRT, which I just told you, right? If you want to practice for physical chemistry and numericals, then you can go for R.C. Mukherjee or you can also go for N. Avasthi. N. Avasthi is one book that even I had followed during my time. So I will suggest that N. Avasthi, please go for it. Basics of every topic will be covered in uh, R.D. Sharma for mathematics. Okay. Yes, you have to, have to, have to give time to each and every subject. But apart from that, time management is also the key. And in time management is one such strategy that does not end till the time you are not done with your exam. Right in the exam hall, when you are writing the exam, when you are appearing for the exam, you still have to go for time management. So time management is very, very, very important. From now on, please make sure that you are spending your time very wisely. Yes. And the first step is that you make a timetable and follow it thoroughly for this one whole year or just for the six months. Okay. And please keep in mind, these are some of the points. Make sure that you have time slots for all the chapters and you have time slots for practicing as well. And then at a later point for revising also, you have time slots. It's okay if you cannot make a week long or a month long plan. It's fine. Plan your days at least two days prior. Even if you make two days ka time, uh, two days timetable, that will also work. But follow it. Make sure you follow it. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, two hours. If you have two hours of study, each for physics and mathematics and 1.5 hours of chemistry, I think that will also do. So basically, in a day, you have to kind of give six hours. Six hours of self-study only, I'm saying. Apart from that, watching the videos, going to co coaching, going to school, all of that is different. Six hours of self-study, you need it for yourself. Okay, and and remind you, my dear students, whatever studies you do in the coaching or in the YouTube videos or anywhere else, more than that time, you need time for self-study. It has to be, it has to be a little unbalanced. Self-study has to be more and coaching and all of these things will have to be a little less. Gotcha. Now, so in case six to seven hours of sleep also, make sure that sleeping time is also given, given, okay. And a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit of leisure hours, okay, so that you don't cram up your mind completely. It's, it should not be like a, just before the exam, your brain has completely shut down and you're not able to remember anything. So give time to your mind as well. And if you want to stay connected with me beyond the classroom, then here is my Instagram. However, I would still suggest that um, please, please, please restrict your social media timing as well. With this note, I'm not going to take much time. I'll see you very soon. Tara bye-bye with another session and all the very best. Bye.